Hey fam, good morning. It's about 11 uh, a.m. here in Chiang Mai, and I'm gonna take you to a place uh, called Chiang Mai Breakfast World. Uh, it's one, it's my de facto, it's the my most favorite breakfast place here in Chiang Mai. Um, I've been there four or five times already, but today I wanted to take you uh, on a little adventure uh, to see it. Wait till you see the breakfast for about 350 baht. No, it's about two, 280 baht, but it's huge. It's huge. Uh, so it's under $10 US and wait till you see uh, the beautiful garden that you can eat in and also uh, the beautiful meal that they serve you. A um, little update on me. I've been uh, extremely sick lately. Uh, I ate at a hotel breakfast buffet thinking oh, everything was going to be great, but no. I either got E. coli or salmonella. Uh, it was way beyond food poisoning. Um, I've been sick for a week. I'm still sick. Um, I'm get, feeling a little bit better today, but I lost about 20% of my body weight. Uh, it really, really messed me up bad. Um, and I've been outside of the US for a year and a half now, and very rarely have I gotten sick. Um, so it's nothing to do with like, oh, I'm from America and my stomach isn't adjusted because my stomach is well adjusted to the food here. Um, but yeah, it was it was either salmonella or E. coli. Um, but I ordered a grab today because I wanted to uh, be able to film while we're driving. So I'm gonna get a grab bike, which is kind of a new thing here in Chiang Mai. And I'm going to sit on the back of it and show you guys around town. Uh, let me see where she's at. almost here. Should be coming from that way. We're looking for a Honda Spark uh, with a female driver. She's probably stuck in this traffic here. There's a panda, two panda drivers. You see panda uh, more than grab in the city here. So uh, there's a little traffic jam on my street, but uh, the driver will be here very shortly. Actually, you guys can't see that, but I think she messed up. So she has to come around. But yeah. Um, so I got back to Kuala Lumpur uh, on a visa run um, <laughs> almost two months ago now. And I already uh, had to go to immigration to get a 30 day extension because uh, my visa was only good for 60 days. So yesterday I got a extension and uh, that was successful, so I'm happy about that. So I'm here for another 30 days. So I thought my last 30 days here, I would, uh, until I need to do another visa run, uh, show you guys around Chiang Mai. I don't know where this driver's at. Guys, uh, I was connected to some bonk Wi-Fi and I lost my connection to Grab. And uh, so she, she's been waiting here for me. Sorry, yeah. I had bad Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah, you got Wi-Fi. Sure. Police? Yeah. Can you hold this? Okay. trying to find the, the directions. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, 
มจะรอผมรอตรงนั้นนะเดี๋ยวพี่ไปเดี๋ยวไปหาโอเคไปดิ Let's go Get gas because grab is out of gas. And this is a sale, so we stay let's, let's, let's buy her some gas. Here, I got money. Yeah. No, no, here. So we just need to buy some gas and this is how you do it in Thailand. You just come, you give them the money and you fill up. Because the grab ride was so cheap, it's only about 60 baht um, and it's going to be about a 15 minute drive, I thought I'd just buy her some gas. Um, so I gave her three US dollars. About three fifty for gas uh, to fill up her bike, um, and she's probably gonna get some change off that as well. So she can keep it as a tip for being a good sport for being on YouTube. No hurry, it's okay. So the little the little gas thing is under the seat. This helmet is matching my hairdo, but. I almost didn't style my hair because I knew I'd have to wear a helmet, but I tried. Full? Full, yeah, wow. Good. Oh no, not for me. Oh. It's still wet. What kind of bike is this? Yamaha? Oh no, it's for you. It's a tip. Good tip. Good tip. Full tank.
here's the moat around Old City. Um, as you can see, they have the uh, water fountains on today. Very spectacular. So, uh, that guy was probably some retiree walking around in the morning. More fountains.
see lots of Chinese tourists and they're usually dressed in really nice dresses like uh, summer dresses Another Chinese tours. Those are European tours. to have um, a moat and a wall around it. Yes, yes, this is the way. So they have all these little alleys in uh, Chiang Mai and in a lot of Asian countries it's popular and uh, they look like an alleyway. And in America, we, <laughs> we don't walk down alleyways because you get robbed or something bad happens usually or they're seedy or uh, not desirable. Here, they could have sprawling resorts <laughs> in their alleys. No, uh, up more. Here's another breakfast place. But we're going to change my breakfast world. Are, guys, change my breakfast world. Thank you. Is my hair messed up? Yeah, let me, let me see my hair. Uh oh, <laughs> my hair it's all messed up. Thank you. Bye. So, this is change my breakfast world, and as you can see, this is what they have in front of it to greet you and those are real real plants and real fruit by the way um it's like a little garden a little garden restaurant here and so let's go inside and get a table hello Ka. Can you go that way hello good morning i want to show show youtube your restaurant it's very good so this is the inside of the restaurant. They have live music. And I would rate the guy a 10 out of 10. Hello, good morning. So they also have all these cheeses. They're imported cheeses from Australia and Europe and Italy. And they're, some of them are very, very expensive. I think this is the most valuable thing they have in the restaurant. 
is the cheese and uh, meats from uh, Germany. And then they have desserts. They have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight types of pie. And they also have um, like ice cream. And sometimes they have some other goodies in there as well. But yeah, this is the inside. So we usually sit outside unless it rains, but um, I've had to sit in here one time before uh, when it was just completely drenched, uh, rainy, rainy outside. So let's go and uh, take a look at the menu. So this is where we're going to sit. And they have a huge menu, like um, maybe like a hundred items. So live, live music with uh, John Berlin. Hmm. Is it, uh, I've eaten here quite often and he's always here and he's very, very good. I usually only get one thing here though and it's the best thing on the, the menu. Usually the uh, English superior. These are all the drinks. Look at these drinks. Kahlua coffee, Irish coffee, hot chocolate. That Kahlua coffee looks pretty damn good right now. And then we have uh, chocolate lava cake. I might get that later. Here's all their, their pies. And their imported beers and uh, cheeses. But I usually only get the English Superior breakfast. And you guys will see why when it arrives. Here's their breakfast. This place is absolutely amazing. Where's the English Superior? That's not it. It's even better than that. Look at that. Prawn omelet with peas. a spicy version of it too. They have waffles. If you want a western breakfast, this is the absolute best place that I've found in Chiang Mai uh, to have a European, American western breakfast. Yeah, they even have an English breakfast. Here, here we go. English breakfast superior. And it really does. So the camera cut out for a minute there. I think the SD card got too hot, but this English uh, Breakfast Superior, it comes with a toast, baguette, butter, jam, two fried or scrambled eggs, bacon, English sausage, baked beans, grilled tomato, fried potatoes, pork, steak, coffee or tea, and lemon juice uh, for 269 baht. You cannot beat this uh, this breakfast in Chiang Mai. And they don't even try to serve you a dirty hot dog for breakfast like everyone else does. It's pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and order. Hello? Can I order? Can I get the English breakfast superior? Scrambled? Yeah. yeah. Coffee? Yes, coffee, please. Thank you. So I think the family, I think they live upstairs there.
drinks and uh, I ordered coffee. Uh, they give you a very large coffee for, uh, for Chiang Mai. Uh, they give you milk and they give you a free large lemonade uh, as a refreshment. That's really good when you first come in and you're kind of hot. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee until the food comes. I like a lot of milk in my coffee. I like it very, very light. And of course, I'll give you sugar. <laughs> I think this is the, some of the strongest lemonade I've ever had in my life. It's not bad, but it's very lemony. But uh, I chased it with some coffee. So we have live music, we have a garden, we have great food, as you guys are going to see, and great weather, it's not raining, it's not hot, it's not raining, and there's no the mosquitoes out, so you can't really ask for much more. And the food here, so guys, they just delivered the food and it's piping hot. You got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of bread. You have jam, it's fresh jam. It's probably strawberry. I know you guys can't see that very well in the light, but it's red to my eye. And then you have beans, you have a full tomato, you have eggs uh, scrambled exactly how I told them. You have lots of bacon and then you have a pork steak. And then under the pork steak, you have uh, potatoes, like fried potatoes. And then they give you a little garnish flour, and they give you butter for your bread, and uh, vegetables. And for all of this food, it was what, two, $269 or something like that? $269 bot. So. A pretty good deal it's under ten dollars us so uh, it cost me about a